Well, there aren't a lot of drops down coming back to Coolis. Yeah, I'd like to This airplane is really exciting to work on because it's an old East Green that's been rebuilt just in the last couple of years. It was originally built in 1942 or World War II and since that time, they've put new wings, new engines on it, and it's been repurposed for science. It does a really fantastic job for us. We land in all these tiny airports, and we can carry a huge amount of cargo with them. So each one of these giant blue boxes is filled with probes, which we're dropping into the ocean and using to measure just how much the oceans are warming and how that affects the sea. These two racks are our equipment racks. Uh, this one's filled with radios, and recorders, and also a decoder, which takes the radio signal from the probe and turns it into temperature and conductivity data. Right now, uh, we're going to go put a probe right where that little yellow dot is. We have three different kinds of these probes. Each one transmits on a slightly different frequency. And that allows us to listen to up to three probes at a time. Five, four, three, two, one, drop, drop, drop. to start talking back to the plane and uh, we have a signal that means the probe's alive. And in a few seconds a small tone will start tells us that the probe Drop has been released. Came the through. We got it. So that means that the probe's operating correctly and we're gonna get a good profile. Way to go buddy. These are huge chunks of ice that have broken off the glaciers. This is one of the ways that Greenland actually raises sea level. Plus the altitude, lowest altitude you got. Right, stand up and launch up over the table. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of minerals in these. It's gone all the way down to uh, 700 meters. And it'll probably go to eight, it might even go to a thousand. A few of these fjords are that deep. Uh, but when it terminates, you'll see a jump in the conductivity. That's because the little probe has hit some uh, sediment and one. the mud has gotten into it. It'll get way less conductive, and that's one of the ways we know we've hit the bottom. Great, guys. Good job. Nice. We often think of Greenland's ice as sort of like an ice cube with a hair dryer. The air is warming up and that's melting the ice. But in fact, the oceans are doing a lot of the work too. And that means there's a lot bigger potential for Greenland to melt quickly than we anticipated before. Look here, how big that is. We're literally watching the Greenland ice sheet disappear right before our very eyes. And this is having an impact all around the planet. We all share one ocean, so a billion tons of ice lost here raises sea levels all across the world by a measured amount. This is happening today, and the question is, how fast is it going to happen in the future? If it happens at a rate where we're looking at many feet of sea level rise in the next 50 or 100 years, then it's going to have a huge impact for cities all across the planet. In the United States, billions of people live near the sea. 
and will be affected by this rise. And in fact, they're already beginning to be affected today. Okay. 